Okay gang, Private Jack here. I was asked to do a video on how to do a head hack in Source Filmmaker. And I made a video, but because of one of the lewd actions in the, uh, the model performed, I pixelated out the, the part that was lewd. And of course, kids being what they are, decided to make all kinds of lewd and, and rotten comments on the video so I decided to take that one down. I'm going to redo this head hack and we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm going to start Source Filmmaker and I'm going to bring in a sniper. I'm going to back off and I'm going to grab the root transform. I'm going to expand that, grab the position, go to the motion editor and pull him up onto the floor. And then I am going to move him off the stage. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the sniper's head with the head of our good friend, Dr. Gordon Freeman, a character from Half-Life 1. This is one of the original models, and as you can see, where he spawns is halfway through the floor. So this is what caused the problem in the first place. I'm going to open that model up, and I'm going to send him down to the stage as well. So I'm going to grab his uh, root transform position and I'm going to default him down to the stage. Then I'm going to pull him above the floor and now there isn't any controversy. Okay, so now I can pull my sniper back onto the stage. Now that Gordon is in position properly and I can start the process. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sniper. I'm going to grab his head like that and I'm going to add a scale control to that transform. Once I have the scale control in I'm going to minimize the head to nothing so he has no head left. On the Gordon model what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the unknown section because there's pieces in here that I have to lock up with the sniper. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the root transform of the sniper to the root transform of Gordon. Now if you look at these models, if I do this what's going to happen is the model is going to float back down through the floor. The reason being is that the sniper's root transform is down here on the ground where Gordon's root transform is here in the pelvis. So rather than do the root transform to root transform what that will cause is um, any mesh that is associated directly with the root transform to come down out of the sniper's bottom and come down to the floor. I don't want that to happen. So what I need to do is I need to find a bone on the sniper that is pretty much at the same level as the root transform for Gordon. That bone, so I'm going to unlock that, that bone would probably be either spine zero or the actual pelvis itself. I prefer to use the pelvis because the pelvis is the bone that usually controls the whole model. So I'm going to grab the pelvis bone and lock that to Gordon's root transform. Okay, so these bones will merge together like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the neck of the sniper and I'm going to merge that, I'm going to join that to Gordon's neck, which is down here right there. Okay, now, when I 
zero the Gordon model, it's going to deform in some strange and awkward ways. And it's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to default the model. Correction, I'm going to zero the model. And you can see how things are starting to pull together and come into place. Now the reason why it ends up like this is simply due to the fact that the bone rotations and whatnot else are totally different from each other. The first thing I have to do is try and hide all this excess stuff that's coming outside the sniper. Best way to do that is to come down here, grab a hold of that root transform bone go into the rotation mode and just rotate it up into the body. Now if you still have stuff that sticks out, what you can do is actually on the Gordon model, grab that pelvis bone, okay, and add a scale control to it. Once you have the scale control, take and zero this out and what that will do is it will shrink any mesh that's associated to that pelvis bone and put it down here onto uh, the bone inside the sniper. Now, now that we've got that done we're pretty much good to go. However, on the Half-Life 1 models what will usually happen is when I actually linked up the, uh, uh, the, the necks of the two models, the neck bone of the sniper is controlling the scales of any bones associated above the neck on the Gordon model. Okay, so because it's locked to the sniper, this bone is now controlling anything above the neck. Now on the Gordon model, the way that they had done them is on the sniper, the arms come off spine three. However, on the Gordon model, the, uh, the arms come off the neck bone. So because the neck bone is actually controlling uh, the scale of the arms, uh, that's why we're seeing the arms stick out of the actual Gordon model. So let's get this fixed up. What we have to do is first position the neck and the head so that they will be in uh, the same rotation as what uh, the sniper is. So I'm going to grab the neck of the Gordon model. I'm going to rotate that up. And all the time, my timeline is completely selected. Okay, if I had any type of anime or uh, any type of uh, offset then that would become an animation. So I'm doing it entirely in world space. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to rotate the neck so that it is face, the head is facing front. Things are not looking too bad right now. Now, to fix the arm problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pelvis bone on the Gordon model and I'm going to link it to the left arm and the right arm. So grab the pelvis bone, bring it down here, put it, lock up the left arm, then pull it down again and lock up the right arm and zero them. Okay, so basically you grab the left and right arm and zero. And that should pull those arms down into the model and at the same time shrink the mesh oops I hate it when that happens shrink the mesh so that uh, it's invisible inside the the other body model okay so now the reason why my screen went blank is because I've got a uh, item selected that the cameras can no longer see. So as soon as I try and do something with that particular uh, item selected, the screen will go black. To get it unblack, do a control Z at, until you come back onto your screen. 
and then select another bone. Okay, now that that's done, we've got the head pretty much in position. What we have to do now is get it so that it is um, proportionally scaled to the body that you're putting it on. So I'm going to zoom in here, have a look at this. What I want to do is I want to grab the neck bone and go into uh, the uh, motion manipulator and maybe pull that up a bit. And then what I want to do is I want to grab the head, uh, the head bone and actually add a scale control to it so that I can scale the head so that it will be proportionally the same as what I need it to be on the actual sniper. <sighs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Anyway, now that that's done, I'm going to double click on the scale control here in the uh, procedurals panel and just have a look and see what the actual scale is. I'm going to roll that back down to probably about 0.1. Okay, and now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter and have a look. That doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> Maybe what I might want to do is pull that head up just a little bit off the neck and I'm going to switch to global axis so that I'm pulling it straight up and maybe just pull it up about there so that the nape of his neck is behind is above the collar and that doesn't look too bad considering that they're not even the same generation of model okay that is how you perform a head hack with two different characters. Now here's something that's kind of cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the sniper body and I'm going to add the rig biped simple. If I come into the rig biped simple and select the neck, everything on the neck above should work with the rig. However, the head will not. But we can fix that. All we have to do is expand the Gordon model again and pull the rig head down onto the head of Gordon and lock that up. With that locked up, the rig now moves the head as well as the neck. So now you can use an actual rig off the original model, okay, the body model, to control your animations of the actual character. Okay, problem here is that you cannot add sequences to a model that has rigs import sequences. You have to disassemble the rig. And this can cause a little bit of a problem, but it's not really that bad. Okay, so snap on the sniper, remove the rig, and the head and neck may change. Just waiting for the rig to dis. Okay, see how the neck and the head changed? Okay, so this is a small problem. What we're going to do though is we're going to add an animation and I'm going to add the high five start. And let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to add that animation. And we can see that things are not looking too bad. However, the head is out of sort. So, 
with all of time selected, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here into the Gordon model, grab the neck. Uh, do I need to grab the neck or the head? Let's have a look. Might just be the head. I'm going to grab the head, go into global axis, rotate the head up. Rotate the head into position. See how the head fell back down into its regular position. I'm going to grab the hold of the move modulator, go into global axis, pull the head up, like that. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe I want to bring the neck over just a tad. So it's back in the center of the body. that. Now let's have a look and see what the animation does. Okay, it's not going to move the head because the head is no longer associated with the model other than through the neck. So now that I've got that animation in, I can come back in here and add my rig again. Rig biped simple, where are you? There you are. Lock up the uh, head bone, the rig head bone to the Gordon head again. Like that. And there you have it. So working with head hacks is a little bit more difficult in your animation uh, things that you have to do to get the head to actually work properly but you can still do it and you can still use the sequences for the original model. So that is performing a head hack and using sequences for the original model in a nutshell by Private Jack. And with that I say Private Jack out. <laughs>